Hey, what is up, guys? You're watching Epic Pokemon TCG, and in this video, guys, I have a gameplay for you. It's going to be a Golisopod Zorg versus a Gardevoir deck. So, I got this gameplay when I was watching football. So, if there's any misplays in this one, that's why. I was watching the Chiefs and the Eagles, I believe. So, yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you do enjoy it. But right here, I think I just go ahead and heavy ball and check to see if I have my ideal turn one for Gully Supplied, which is a deck I'm really loving right now, guys. I think Gully Supplied is so fun to play. And uh, currently in real life, I'm playing the uh, Garbodor version. I haven't built my exact list on Pokemon TCG Online yet, but I need to. So right here, I'm just going to Ultra Ball, grab the Tapu Lele, grab the Bridget, and go from there. And I do have the uh, means to do a turn one flying flip. So I just decided, you know, screw it, let's go for it. Yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Hope you're all uh, staying safe out there in this crazy world that we're living in right now. Things have just been wild and just madness that's just going on. But yeah, I've just been playing a lot of Golis Apollo on Pokemon TCG Online. I need to play some other decks to get some more gameplays for you. Because <laughs> I'm worried that everything I'm bringing you is going to be Golis Apollo versus something else, and that might get old here. It's been a lot of Golis Apollo on my channel lately. Yeah, just kind of re re uh, recovering from my first League Cup. I had an absolute blast playing in that, dude. I, I can't wait to do that again, quite frankly. It was so awesome. Right here, Flying Flip 2020-20. Kind of softening up those Pokemon. But I'm curious if you guys have been in League Cups. I'm pretty sure you have. Uh, recently, I would say. Uh, I think the next deck that I'm actually going to try and play is probably going to be Metagross. Since Metagross is in my top 10 favorite Pokemon. The thing I liked about the Golisopod Zoark deck was just the fact that it was two of my favorite Pokemon and Zoark was just absolutely key in that deck and I love Zoark, it's such a cool card. But I actually ended up finally buying a Golisopod and my League Cup I had to borrow all three of the ones that I had and so I just decided to invest in one and uh, one of my friends is letting me use his and he just said I can use it as long as I, pretty much as long as I need to because he's never going to play that deck pretty much and so awesome there. So I just need to get one more and I'll be pretty set. But we see a Wonder Tag for a Skyla, which I believe grabs an Ultra Ball so he can Rare Candy into a Gardevoir. Now the bad thing is here in a second you're going to see me start whipping on energy and I was like getting really worried. Plus I have the distraction of the football game going on so yeah, the odds were against me. But yeah, there's actually going to be a League Cup on the 30th I was going to try to go to, but things are looking kind of slow, so I'm not just playing a League Challenge. But I just want to say, guys, I really do appreciate all the support on my channel. I appreciate all the just love you give me. It's been pretty awesome. My channel's growing very steadily, and I, I just think that's awesome. Hopefully I can hit 700 by the end of the year. That's the goal, anyway. But there we go. We do see the Rare Candy. Rare Candy into the Gardevoir. And I've actually been playing some other decks. Uh, not too much because Gully Spot's pretty much just been taking over my playing and Tapu Koko does go down there but I was playing a Sogaleo Rayquaza deck that a friend sent me a video on and so I decided to build that list and see how it was that's a pretty fun deck I like it right here I Sycamore and I whiff on energy and you guys are going to see me do something really stupid here in a second I'm going to play my entire hand down and try to go for Instruct to get an energy, which is hilarious. So right there I grabbed the Gully Supplied, and what's really funny is I think that me discarding that N right here with Ultra Ball pretty much kind of forced my opponent to play a Supporter, because I, I guess it, he thought I was like, you know, so confident I was going to get something that he just decided to end me. I don't know. For some reason this dude ends me this next turn, I believe, which is really funny. <laughs> I guess maybe he didn't have much going on in his side, so that's why he ended me, but still pretty much of a savior. I had a Sycamore right here, and I just, like, I whipped on energy again, and I was just kind of sitting there in disbelief. I couldn't believe it. So, pretty much, like, right here, I'm just trying to decide what I can sacrifice, and I think pretty much, like, the only logical thing would be a Ranguru. So, yeah, things are not looking too good for me. I'm whiffing energy, I'm distracted by football, and I'm playing against Gardevoir that hits really hard, so... Yeah, and he's pretty much like kind of just getting all all kinds of set up, and I'm just sitting here in no energy land, hoping for the best. So we see a secret spring for a fourth energy, a second fairy energy coming down onto that Gardevoir, and then there's the end, which I was like, thank God, please, please like reshuffle my deck and give me an energy. <laughs> 
and I actually ended up whiffing again, which, like, I was just kind of leaning back going, come on, bro. I just couldn't believe it. And I'm, then to top it off, I get hit by a field blower. So, yeah. But, man, I am just kind of excited for Pokemon right now. We got a new set coming out, Crimson Invasion. We got some other stuff, like some more product leaks and such coming out, which I'm really excited about. That and, like, the best time of the freaking year is coming up, guys. And no, I don't mean my, birth my birthday. I just tried to make a joke, and I stuttered. That's adorable, isn't it? But anyway, shut up, Cherry. Uh, we got fall coming up, which means, like, Halloween and such is coming up. And then, like, we got Christmas rolling around. Video games are all busting out, man. It's, it's a great time of year. So I can't wait. Plus Christmas. God, I can't wait for Christmas. So... Finally, I see some energy as I'm sitting here rambling on. I was about freaking time. I, I couldn't believe I actually got energy. And for some reason, I'm sitting here thinking about like what I want to attack with. I think the choice is pretty obvious. I think it's because I was watching football, so I wasn't thinking too well. I was watching Alex Smith and just destroy the Eagles pretty much. <laughs> actually, I take that back. It wasn't until around the fourth quarter that that game started becoming like extremely one-sided. If you don't follow football, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But I do hit that uh, Gardevoir for one, or more, uh, 120, almost said 140. And right here, I'm kind of like kind of planning out the game uh, because I'm I'm starting to think like he might try to get another Gardevoir out because obviously he can't leave this one active because it's it's gonna get knocked out. So if he were to attack me with another Gardevoir, I can first impression that. And I think he's used fill, or two field blowers by this point. I believe anyway. But I'm kind of thinking that like my tools are safe for the most part after that second field blower. And so I see the Tapu Lele. Here it is. Yeah, the second field blower. This is when I start doing it. So he's used both field blowers. So my tools are safe. I'm about to hit another Gardevoir if he leaves this one active, he, which he doesn't, which I knew he wouldn't. Because that'd be a really dumb play. So I can hit that Gardevoir. That'd be two heavily damaged Gardevoirs. And then I have my GX attack for 150. And if I throw a Choice Band on it, that'll be 180. Now, if a Max Potion comes down, my plans get completely just screwed up. But I'm kind of thinking that like I'm, I might be able to pull this off. Because I really don't need too many resources. And if I'm able to pull off another Float Stone, then I pretty much got this. So right here he's just doing what I'm expecting. He's gonna bring down, or he's gonna bring up that other uh, guard war, and hit me. And I ended up pulling an Acerola, which was perfect off of his end. So the game's kind of playing out exactly how I want it to, which is perfect. So right here I'm gonna Acerola. Come on, Dylan, you got this. Play, play the Acerola, son. What are you doing? Okay, apparently past me is an idiot and not doing this. <laughs> so there we go. I'm going to play that Acerola. And I'm going to bring up that Gully Spot. Play it on that Wind Pod. And I'm going to save that last spot for something more, a little more important. And here it is. Like, this game pretty much just kind of starts playing out in my favor. Like, even though I'm behind in prizes, I've pretty much taken the lead in my eyes. Because now I have two heavily, uh, yeah, heavily damaged e or EX is crap. GX is on my opponent's side of the field. And... I'm good, but I just like Gully Spot because it just hits so hard for like little to nothing, which is ridiculous. But hopefully I can get the guard of uh, the dude. I do that all the time. I hope I can get the Garbodor version to work. I swear, Gardevoir and Garbodor, I, I get those names mixed up all the time. <laughs> but you guys already know I can't speak, so it's whatever. So right here, my opponent does grab a Gallade and. I'm thinking that might be a problem, but I don't, I don't know. So he does evolve into the Curlia, and so he's going to use Abyssal Hand. And even though he's drawing all these cards and getting all this stuff, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that, you know, it's not really going to matter. Because, yeah, that, I don't know. In my mindset, that's how I'm playing this game out right now. So he's going to Secret Spring. He's going to attach a second Fairy Energy. Thinking, I think he brings up that other Gardevoir for some reason. That's what I think he does. But anyway, I'm going to keep trying to talk here to keep this entertaining. But um, 
<clears throat> I think right now the meta is pretty nice. I like the meta right now. I think that it's kind of it's like it's kind of like a grass, water, and fire starters. One beats the other. The other beats that one. Kind of like a cycle. And right now it's like Gardevoir loses to Metagross. Metagross loses to Volcanion. Volcanion loses to Water, and and like I think like Water loses to Metagross. It, it's like a weird thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm really liking the meta right now. And Goalie Supply is just in there, and it has really good matchups pretty much against everything except for Fire. And even Fire has Ho Oh, which is really nice. And so I, I'm just I'm hoping that the meta stays nice. I'm hoping that the like Ultra Beast cars don't screw up things too much because there's literally one that says you just take a prize. I'm not looking forward to that one, by the way. <laughs> so right here, I just decided to attack with Zork uh, because he's only given up one prize. I don't know why I decided to do this, but I, I did. So off my two prizes, I grab a Choice Band and a Tapu Koko. Guys, I apologize if the commentary is abysmal. Uh, I'm looking at 19 minutes. 19 minutes of commentary that I have to do and I'm trying to stay interesting and I don't really have much to say that's pretty much how I am. I'm like a short spurt conversation person but he does evolve into that Gallade right here he's gonna rescue stretcher and I believe he grabs I think like a line of Gardevoir that's what I think he grabs but I'm curious what you guys think about the meta right now I'm curious what you think is the best deck I guess I would say because I'm thinking that there's not necessarily really a best deck right now. Um, I forgot about Garbodor. I forgot about Garbodor. That's another deck that's like really interesting in the mix. I don't know. There's just a lot of diversity, I think, right now. There's a lot of things like... like there, There's stuff that you can play that might be bad to face against other stuff. But I think pretty much any like top decision meta-wise is pretty pretty okay. You also got some Darkrai running around. You got some Alolan Eradicate, Salazzle decks running around. Salazzle in general is rolling around, which is really cool. So, hopefully they keep this up. Hopefully, like the diversity and the format and such keeps up. I mean, the only thing I think I don't like about the new format is that you have to have three Tapu Leles to play, which is like two hundred bucks pretty much. That's like the only thing I'm not really too big of a fan of, and I'll express that anytime I can. I hate that you have to have a like multiple copies of like a $60 card to play. I just don't like that. But my opponent's setting up that Gallade back there. And I do have a Guzma, which is really nice. But he's going to knock out my Zork. I don't agree with that play that I made. I don't think I should have brought up the Zork. I think that was kind of stupid of me to do. Right here, I'm going to promote the Gully Sapod. And I'm going to play down that Tapu Koko. Attach the energy to Gully Sapod play the float stone now I kind of have like a free retreating cycle to kind of work with and I'm going to ultra ball discarding a grass and an in and I realized I don't have any Zoroas and so yeah I don't agree with attacking Zorak uh, yeah, attacking with Zorak whatsoever I thought that was an extremely stupid play on past Dylan's part past Dylan is a moron current Dylan is a moron <laughs> I apologize guys god this commentary is probably abysmal but you know hey we're gonna we're gonna keep rolling we're gonna keep going with it so right here, first impression, there we go, and I pretty much have the game winning hand right now if he doesn't end me. So my, my little plan's kind of playing out here, I have the Guzma, I have the DCE and the Choice Band and the GX attack left. So hopefully he doesn't end me, and I should have this game all wrapped up, and he plays a Sycamore. I lean back, I remember, I lean back into the couch and I extended my arms out, and I was like, I got this. Cause I'm a cringy white boy but yeah he's gonna I think he attacks me here with Galay which is fine he can't one-shot me he attaches energy to that type of Lele I'm good I was like crap I pulled this off it's gonna play a choice band which is all good oh, he does premonition by the way so yeah I'm really excited for my channel too also I'm gonna be working on a lot of videos I've been working on a lot of stuff behind the scenes with some friends about like topics and ideas that I can uh, do content on I'm gonna be doing mostly discussion videos I'm gonna try to squeeze some deck profiles in that's something I'm gonna keep up along with the gameplays so hopefully I can work on commentary because I'm not liking it so far <laughs> I need to like just write down a list of crap I can talk about in these long videos normally my videos are done by now I don't have to worry about 19 minutes of commentary as we sit here and wait for the longest premonition known to man. But 
yeah, I'm gonna be working on a lot of stuff for you guys. So I hope you all are excited for that because I am behind the scenes working on some stuff. I think like my next discussion video might be my unpopular Pokemon opinions video or it might be uh, something to do with GX attacks. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But this game is coming to a close and I actually have another uh, bit of gameplay from a Gardevoir deck too to show you, which is really cool. So right here guys, I'm going to attach that DCE, attach the Choice Man, and I'm going to play the Guzma, promote the Tapu Lele, promote the Gully Supplied, Retreat, bring that up, and then there is Cross and Cut GX for 180, and I'm going to promote Tapu Coco, and that is the game guys. So I was able to make a comeback from having no energy and letting Gardevoir whale me for a minute. Now I was disappointed to not get like the entire gameplay for this because I do believe that this would have been the best gameplay I have on my channel period had I got this one in its entirety so currently it is three to four prizes I am in you know I'm in the lead so I'm going to retreat my Tapu Koko and I'm gonna bring up this Gully Sapat here my opponent currently has two DCEs and a fairy energy on his Gardevoir so there is the first impression for 120 kind of looking at my discard pile just kind of seeing where I'm at uh, this was another one of my lists before I swapped out the Max Potion for Heavy Ball. I think this was like, God, one of my really early Ghost of Pod lists. But yeah, this was such an incredible game. And of course, I got the error saying that like my uh, recording thing crashed, but I decided to turn it back on just to get the ending of this game. Because like this was so good. Like I had so much fun playing this matchup out. Like. We were going back and forth pretty much the entire time. So there is a choice man. So I believe that this goalie spot is going to be going down. So yeah, my opponent's like, he was, he was just hitting a lot of really key things at really key times, and I was kind of back there struggling because I was still working on the consistency of my deck. I was having some issues with it, but not energy issues. <laughs> I don't know what the heck was happening in that last game. So. Uh, he's going to play down another Royal Slayer as we saw earlier. And so I'm thinking he's just kind of preparing for this Gardevoir to go down, which will bring me to one prize. And there is Secret Spring. So now he has two, <laughs> two Fairy and two DCE. There is exactly 210 damage. So now my opponent goes down to two prizes. And right here, I really, really need to hit a DCE because I don't have anything really going for me. So I think my only option right here pretty much is to play the Sycamore. I'm going to be discarding a lot of stuff, but that's really my only option. I don't want to end because I'm probably going to whiff, and my opponent is hitting for so much damage. Like, I, I have to go for the DCE at this point. So that's what I'm going to do. Play the Sycamore, discard all that stuff. And uh, the first card I saw was a DC, which is really good. So I'm going to retreat, bring up Tapu Lele. And Tapu Lele is so clutch in this Gardevoir matchup just because it can dish out high amounts of damage, which is really nice. And there we go. There is the energy drop for 160, which is going to bring me the one prize. And right now I'm kind of forcing my opponent to try to get another Gardevoir set up in time to kind of respond. So it just kind of came down to this turn pretty much. I don't think I would have been able to answer back had my opponent gotten another Gardevoir out. So yeah. I've got a lot of stuff in my hand. And I have a Guzma and a DC and a Grass. All right, two DC. So I'm sitting there thinking if he ends me, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of stuff that could go down in this turn. I mean, like, I was expecting this dude to make, like, a huge comeback. But I don't know. Because, like, in my mind, I was thinking he was going to go for that attack that lets him put 10 cards back in his deck. And then uh, just grab a bunch of energy. <laughs> And he actually ends up conceding, and I was really surprised by that because I thought that like that turn he would have been on if he come back and the game would have kept going. But hey, I was able to pull out the victory. So yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I do apologize for the commentary, guys. I'm not used to doing a 20-minute long commentary. So I am going to work on that. I, I'm going to work on that. I might write down stuff before I start recording to talk about because I came into this video pretty unprepared. And I'm also pretty frustrated because this is like my sixth or seventh take. No exaggeration on this one. So yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, you know what to do, guys. Thank you all so much for the support. Take care. I love you so much. And of course, guys, this is Epic Pokemon TCG signing out.